all of us in the family at one time got something that made us a little sick, but not the way it hit Ed. Ed was just 14 and just taken a spurt of growth. He just shot up. But there it was, polio. They took him off to the hospital and he walked in and three days later he was in an iron lung. And he did survive the horrendous fever that goes with it. We stayed with him until early morning and I heard his voice coming down the hall. Why are my parents still here? He was saying. I thought, well, he seems to have his brain intact. The doctor said, well, maybe you should hope to die. Because if he lives, he'll be back in more of a vegetable for the rest of his life. Now, I don't know how many of you had a family, but I'm kind of telling you guys why you're In 1963, at the age of 24, Ed Roberts became the first severely disabled student to attend the University of California, Berkeley, and helped to create the Physically Disabled Students Program. There are very few people, even with the most severe disabilities, who can't take control of their own life. The problem is that people around us don't expect us to. The most important part of that is working with other people, moving away from your own problems to help somebody else. And that liberated me. When I realized I could help others, it made me a lot freer to help myself. After graduating, Ed joined the Berkeley CIL and became its executive director in 1974, turning the organization into a model for a new kind of disability advocacy. We have to show our society that disability doesn't affect work. If you're motivated to work, no matter how disabled, you can do a good job. Might need a little technology, you might need a little help, like personal assistance, but you can do the job. And our number one issue is still old attitudes towards us. And those old attitudes see us as helpless and unable. And disability can make you very strong and very able. In his work and life, Ed believed in empowering others to be advocates and activists. In this spirit, the CIL is pleased to give our artichoke-shaped awards to these individuals who, like Ed, have made major contributions to the success of the CIL and the independent living movement. Ray Lifshay, professor of architecture at UC Berkeley and pioneer of universal design. Corey Lee Woodard, international travel blogger. And Zona Roberts, Ed's mother and beloved figure of the disability rights movement. Join us in Berkeley for the second annual Ed Roberts Day Awards, January 23rd, 2018. For ticket information, visit thecil.org slash Ed Roberts Day Awards.